All right, guys. So I'm sorry, this setup, I had to use a stool and all kinds of things to, so you could get the whole concept. Um, so I'm gonna run through this population field studies lab for you. Um, today, we're going to do the quadrant sampling one. So um, as you can see, I have a big, this blue box is my quadrant, uh, is my entire like ecosystem, okay? So it's my sampling plot. So if you're following along, I have a book version. Yours is a, um, yours is a PowerPoint, okay? Um, so right here, procedure. So it says number one, define the sampling plot. Um, I drew on my table instead of using tape because it's just easier. Um, to form a 120 centimeter by 60 centimeters. So mine is 120 this way. It is 60 centimeters this way. Okay. And so it says calculate the sampling plot area and record above on the data table. So I'm going to put it on my data table and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to type that in um, on yours for you. So now, so 120 multiplied by 60 is 7,200 centimeters squared. So that's how big the sample plot is, okay? All right, next step, dump the beans in your population. These are my beans, two different types. It says, dump them onto your defined sampling plot and randomly spread them out. So try to keep them in here. So it's my light colored ones. Here's my dark colored ones. You can hear them falling to the floor. I'll pick that up in a minute. All right. It says be sure they're not stacked. So let me make sure they're not stacked. They're all in here. Get off my book. All right, they're all in here and they're not stacked. Do not move or touch the beans until the completion of this method of estimating. So I can't touch the beans anymore. Make a quadrant. Name my quadrant. This is my quadrant. So you're making a rectangular or a square quadrant. This is what we're going to be using to collect our data right here. Okay, so record the quadrant area above on your data table below. So right here, Mine is seven centimeters by seven centimeters, meaning it is 49 centimeters squared. All right, we're gonna collect data. It says use your quadrant, this thing right here, to conduct three separate sampling measures in your sampling plot. Each sample should measure a unique area of the plot and should not sample one part of the plot twice. Record the data for each bean color in the first data table below, which I'll type in there for you. All right, so quadrant sample number one, I'm just gonna Toss it on there. Ooh, that's not a good sample. I have one reddish bean and I have zero white beans. I'll do it again. I'm just gonna stand back here and toss it on there. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five, six white beans this time. And I have one red bean. You see why we do it multiple times? Because both times it would seem like there's not very many of the other. And the last one. All right, I have one, two, three, four red beans and two white beans. Seems like a much, much better sample. All right, so it wants your density. It doesn't want how many are in there. So I'll put one per 49 centimeters squared per 49 centimeters squared, per 49 centimeters squared, because I can't really reduce that, right? Okay. And then I'm gonna do my average. So one plus one plus four is six, sorry, six um, divided by three. So my average density is two be red beans for every, excuse me, 49 centimeters squared. And my white bean is going to be 8 divided by 3. And I don't have my 
it's like two point something. I'll do the math when I put it on yours. All right, so our estimated population. So that would be, I'm going to move this and hope it doesn't fall. Oh, I've already done my data, so I'm 